Welcome back everybody. This is Steve KM9G and I've got some MFJ stuff for you today. MFJ makes just about every accessory you can imagine for a ham radio. Antennas, powers, tuners, analyzers, you name it, they got it. Let's take a look at this stuff on the bench. And MFJ sent me over a couple of their power pole power distribution centers and I think these are pretty neat. Uh, they come in a couple of different sizes and configurations. This is just two of the choices that they have available to you. Um, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with these. This this small one is pretty nice because you'll be able to mount it inside of a panel device or something. It won't take up a whole lot of space. It has one input, three outputs, uh, your 30 amp input, and then kind of distribute that nicely throughout the, the rest of the area. Uh, they've got one and five volts might be good for like an MFJ meter or something where all you're running is the light bulb. One at 25 might be good for a radio. One at 10 might be good for a rotator or or something else that, that's out there. But these fuses are all interchangeable. I could put three 25 amp fuses in there. 25, 25, 25 would be 75. Obviously, I'm over the capacity of the input, but I'm I would be smart enough to know not to run three radios on transmit at the exact same time. Um, but if I did, then this device would be smart enough to blow the fuse for me, so I, I wouldn't be hurting anything. So this is a, a real quick look at the um, the MFJ 1104 four-way fuse DC power pole distribution center. I'll get into these bags in a second. They each came with a bag of goodies. This one here is the MFJ 1124, and this one actually comes with a really nice set of uh, input power wires. Um, they've got boots on them, they've got ring terminals on them, they go inside of the device and are hooked directly to the circuit board on the inside. There's a good grounding lug there. And then it says input fuse 40 amps max, which is gonna be the gauge of your wire there that's gonna help determine that. And then you can spread it out across all of these different ones. One, two, three, four power poles, and then two of these binding post setups. So you can do, um, you know, like test leads or uh, banana plugs or ring terminals or they've got a little hole through the middle that you can put a wire in and then screw it down to to bind it off so again radio this one's got a one amp fuse in it um, like a little light bulb inside of a meter or a tuner or something along those lines uh, this 25 amp fuse goes to these binding posts this 10 amp fuse goes to these binding posts so you can hook up one two three four five six different devices here and uh, hook this directly to the back of your power supply. There's some line there. There's also some, some mounting ears on this one here, so you can mount this onto the wall in the, the ham shack or in the repeater closet or whatever the case may be, and, and you'd be pretty good to go on this. Um, these are pretty well constructed. I did wanna show you what's, what's in the bags here, because it is pretty nice that they do send this extra bit of kit, and I wanna see if it's the same in both kits. So we have one, two, three, four reds and one, two, three, four blacks. And then we should have a bunch of these. One, two, three, four, and then four over there. And then we have some fuses, 10, five, 30, and 25. So this is a complete replacement set of fuses for the four unit. And then what do we have in this one here? We have probably a lot of the same stuff. One, two, three, four reds, one, two, three, four blacks, one, two, three, four for here, one, two, three, four for there. So you can make your own power pole setups. We've got 41, 10, 25, and five. 41, 10, 25, five, two 25s, two 10s. So they give you a bunch of replacement fuses so you can kind of mix and match and change things up. That's pretty nice. They give you the Anderson power pole connectors. Those are pretty nice as well. And does it say? It doesn't say anything on here. These are Anderson brand. And then what does it say on here? Anything on here? It just has the letter T on there, which doesn't particularly mean anything to me. I think these would be a great addition to your shack. And this is a good example of a way to use some radio power cables that do not come with fuses built in. You can have them built into your, uh, your power distribution center. Instead, I have another unit that's made by WinCamp 
and I have another unit that's made by Chen Zen, I believe it is. We'll take a look at those in future videos, and then we'll do a battle of the power pole devices and see which one comes out on top. Um, there will be links in the description down below where you can get these fine beauties. Otherwise, there is a video over here that I think you will enjoy. Thanks for being awesome.